hi guys and welcome back to my new video in this video i'm going to explain everything you need to understand about vapor previously known as watash so how you can do this on your mobile phone so if you have a mobile phone like me then uh, follow this tutorial step by step so the first thing you need to vapor official website which is going to be here This is Vepa official website. When you visit the Vepa official website, you click on the download now to download because this is going to help you in getting started from scratch. Now, when you click on download, it's going to automatically open a Google Play Store for you. So it's either you use this form or you just visit Play Store from the scratch. So this is going to, then you can search for Vepa understand very simple then you are still going to get to the same place either of the way next thing you have to do is to click on install so i'm going to hold then we are going to continue from there so now it's done open then you open the vapor app this is what you are going to see if you have a uh, if you are new and you are just getting started with uh, started with the application so you have the option to create your account or sign in a existing account for this tutorial i'm going to create a new account so let me use this email of my own so me selecting that email is going to automatically input that feed then because i have the email logged in in my device so it's going to give you suggestion of emails you can use so now my name is um let me say Ola GD instead of just GD Jeremiah because I have a complete tutorial about the PC version. Uh, so I use GD Jeremiah in that one. So what should I use as password, guys? So I use uh, something as password. If you can guess it right, you can put it in the comment section below. Let me see if you guys can see the password. Uh, <laughs> I believe you guys can read my keyboard and you can see what I press. So, okay, create account. Now, very simple, like ABC, everything is all set up and I'm in. So, the first question, the first thing that is going to pop up if you are mobile is this. So, what is your. And a little verification mail has been sent to me. As you can see, your large day, welcome to Vapor. So, it's not that hard. So a business name is required. So what should I use as my business name? Let me use Olaji D. Jeremiah. Very simple. So a little details about your business. It's optional, but I advise you to input that because if we are like if we are on our main website or logged in, it's this section that I'm filling. I'm putting details now. It's called uh, the uh, info B, uh, B I Z section. So each category has a section, you understand? So now let's get into the other part, which is a um, uh, business part. So very simple. So my country is Nigeria and the money will be in Nigeria. So you can, you have options of selecting different money, different currencies rather. So it's up to you. And um, the country, you can change. You have a, it's worldwide. You, we all know that. So let's proceed to the next thing, which is um, continue. Now I can input my brand uh, cover and also my logo. If you don't have any, I suggest you do that. So, so I just input my logo. And um, I think I supposed to do better, but just for the explanation of the video, uh, to make it simple for everyone, I think this is okay. So I select the finish button and this is going to show this. Okay, they said they sent something into my mail, so let me verify it ASAP. Okay, activate my account. You just have to log in into your account and this is going to uh, give you a button to press, which is activate your account. And I click on the verify. Let me now go back to the app easily like that. I think I'm done with the verification. So now, uh, I think they are asking me a question here. Yeah, what features do you intend to use most? I think I like the store. Continue. Uh, are you? Yeah, me. I mean, one mind company. 
yeah software and technology is there anything okay okay i think i'm done so my account is set up okay so this is the my b section that i was talking about uh so the info here is what i input the other time so all these details are uh, are done and i think i need to finish the phone number area because it's very important someone uh can contact you with your phone number so my main phone number you guys do contact me on my business one i can see is um so is this so i can add it now and it's there so if you turn off if you want to disable this phone number so if i activate this it won't show on the website front page so and what else let me check my website link uh which is going to be here so let me try to correct it to allergy dot this okay so now we have the social link which you can add your social media account there so let's select something like a uh, twitter then my own is um, http s dot twitter you guys can follow me very easy then create so that's going to be added then you can do the same thing to create all the social media you are in and you can add multiple phone number also and the link here is a link to specific thing maybe outside the vepa area so if you want the link to probably your website front page you understand main page then simple a little description and uh sticker emoji we do okay this we do then create very simple and um let's see what else can we add we've done this and um let's just cross check this now i think this is supposed to be ready now good it's ready our website is ready and this is what we've done so far uh my banner my logo the word we input the social media list so everything supposed to be here the main page link we just added and um the social media is supposed to go this way like everything supposed to be here and this is uh, uh automatically created by WhatsApp. so your website's link is going to be like they can automatically have a something like a uh button like all these things all this a uh, small button it's called a uh, home screen stuff so it's going to be automatically added for them on the mobile view so now let's move to the store section so every anything we create is going to be here so let's quickly jump to that so that i can easily understand but before we move to the store section it's okay we connect uh the payment function so which is still under the store section here so if you are going to be receiving a payment from a client a specific client to be precise then um at least you have a source to receive the money so if you click on the payment section and um, we have a different thing so the pay later can be edited and um, you can call it pay on delivery i think that is going to make sense pay on delivery so place order pay or your at your convenience or pay please or uh, please your please order quickly and pay on delivery you understand very simple so i'm just giving you an example you can put that function if that's what you want they have stripe they have a razor so for me on my main video i use a pay stack so let me just take you guys through how the process works so now this is the little api that they need and um, you get a public key and a secret a secret key i'll put a link in the description of uh, the process you have to use or follow to get this done you understand so a uh, link to that is going to be in the description it's not that hard you can use your phone to do everything that i'm explaining because i don't just want to be showing the hook and uh, a game that's why i just keep this part in this video so now let's imagine all that is set so what you have to do is to go to your 
product section here so you can firstly create a category because each product is supposed to be in uh each category like let me imagine let's imagine seo category and the status is status is live now let's add more let's call this uh website designing because these are service i render you understand so if you need something like that you can contact me so now we have two category then now let's create a product for our category so on that website designing category i want to add a simple product because i if i create a variable product the variable product is going to require me having a specific size a color okay let's imagine uh, this is the big uh version this is the uh, medium the small size of it product but i just want a simple product since it's a digital product or service that i'm rendering so let's imagine complete website design is okay and um, the budget for something like that um, is seven hundred thousand. and um okay let's copy it i i okay the budget uh, the regular prices so i'm going to sell it for five hundred thousand, which shows or indicate that i'm having a discount so I think that sounds or uh, looks cool then because i don't have a measurement uh allow multiple quantity yeah i have a so i have enough for that and then let's add a picture to it you can take a picture or you can just select the picture from your uh, from your list so let's go under the download section i have a website designing stuff here i think this looks cool then boom let's add another picture of uh, something related to that uh, which is going to be this okay good so a little discussion about it's cool let's just put that with that then um if the product is out of stock you can select this then i think our product is ready so if we've connect our details to it it's supposed to work fine so now let's check our store now as we normally do collagj.watts.bz so that's very easy so if we switch to the store section now we have a product that we can add to cart although it's in our cart but we can't check out now because we've not connect our pay stack only pay on delivery is the only way to deliver this service but since this is this is a digital product it can't work you know how can you pay on delivery where will i get the money to get the old standard so if you click on the product details here you're going to see the pictures we had at the other time and um like so these are going to be your product pictures your product name your product category your product price and your product description so which is going to make it easy for your users to uh have access to your product so to connect the, so i think that's just the main thing about um this what ash so now you can copy a specific product link which is going to be something like this then you can just easily share it with your user anywhere okay now you want to order a service from me and you can easily do that very easy so your contact section is what uh you have no contact because um, you can easily add the contact like someone's phone number here and save them add a quick response and all although the all the, most of these functions the crm functions are going to work well if you are using web whatsapp because you can easily press the uh a quick reply and the funny stuff and it's going to automatically work on your page or on your complete um, website like your web dot whatsapp area so it's going to make it easy the poll integration is also something that you can also work on because um you can create a question and they are going to generate a link for you so anyone that click it is going to have access to that already i made a complete video about all the other functions but what you can easily do and um, easily enjoy is this store area so you can now add a shipping fee uh for a specific area or if someone is um okay charges for a specific thing okay you can add all this to it or uh, to a specific product if someone is ordering from somewhere and okay if this person is uh, from this area then you want a if a shipping fee of so 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 amount so i think they've not done that what 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 they've done is that you have a shipping fee for all your products so even if the person is in your area you are going to 
how the shipping fee for them so uh you can make it flat or percentage so if a person order a product and the percentage is so 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 then uh they should be charged for maybe 20 uh or something so you can make it lesser or higher i don't know maybe you really understand my stuff or like my explanation and you can add a badge to a specific product to each product a product can have a badge so to make okay this is what's selling now and this is not uh this is uh what is not really selling so like for example let me uh, select this badge and make it fire let's see mm. okay let's make it this i like it it looks like butch selling so you can easily create it that way then you can go to the product that you just create so you can add more to each of the product then you can add a badge to it to this then activate so now uh the badge is going to work so if you add a specific charges for this if you make a charges function the other time so the function is going to be uh you have the chance to make a charges here so if you sell if you do the shipping too it's going to be there too so i think that makes it easy for everybody so this is all i have for you guys if you have any question or you want me to put more details or put more light in a specific area of this video i will appreciate the comment section i i will appreciate your comment about that in the comment section so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thumbs if you like it sub if you really enjoyed it and if you don't just comment what i can improve in my coming videos